To upload a listing to MLS, you want to start out by clicking on Search Properties on the Trev Home page. And then click on Add Edit. This will ask you about which category and what type of listing is being uploaded. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use the training mode which you can use as well if you'd like to practice uploading a listing. That's found at the very bottom of the menu as training mode, add edit. I'm gonna choose residential freehold for lease following our previous example. And now you wanna pull up your MLS data information form that you had your client sign. You may wanna open this in a window right beside your Stratus page as you'll be copying and pasting the information that you've got your client to initial basically into this section verbatim. So area of course will be verbatim. You'll go through the rest of the transaction and click the relevant fields. The orange sections of your MLS data information sheet are the mandatory fields in the Stratus upload section as well. So you should have all the minimum requirements to upload this description to MLS. In the comments section, you will have the remarks for clients, extra section, and remarks for brokerages. Under listing brokerage, you wanna type the brokerage name, so in this case, Zolo, wait for it to load. And you can see it's loaded Zolo. It's also, brought up the section for salesperson. So you want to click on this and you want to find your name. Okay. So I believe this is ordered by alphabetical last name. No, it's not. The listing brokerage fax information should also be filled out here, as well as your cell phone number. Or, if you prefer, you can use the office phone number in this section. In the commission co-op brokerage section, you want to upload the information about how much you're offering any co cooperating brokerage for commission. The seller property information statement is abbreviated in a listing as the SPIS. You can use this form if you like, and if you don't have one, just select no. Under distribute to DDF IDX, you wanna select yes for all options. This will send all of the listing information to places like realtor.ca and other websites like Zolo. You also want to click display address on internet as yes. When it comes to internet marketing, these three items are the most important items to select as yes. Under permission to contact listing brokerage to advertise, this section is up to your discretion. If you'd like to let other agents contact you to advertise your listing on their promotional material like brochures or even internet marketing like Kijiji, then you want to select yes. If you'd like to keep all of the advertising related to your brand, you want to select no. Under contact after expired, if you do not want other agents to contact your clients after your listing has expired, let's say if it doesn't sell or if it doesn't lease, you want to select no. Under the upload section in photos, you can click on upload and click on browse, and then you'll be given the prompt to find the photos as they're located on your computer. You can upload up to 40 photos now. You wanna make sure that you've either uploaded good quality photos taken personally or your professional photos. Branding should not be included in any photos. In the attachments section, you can upload things like Schedule Bs, any other documents pertaining to the listing can also be uploaded, like surveys, for example, or even inspection reports. 
In the map section, you want to make sure that the map is displaying the location of your home correctly. Make sure it's not too zoomed in so clients can see the major intersection or the overall location of the property. And then you want to click on submit when you're done with everything. And if there's any missing information, the system will let you know in red what's required. If you click on the item in red, it will take you directly to the section where the item you're missing is located. Once you're happy with your listing, try hitting submit again, and if nothing is missing, your listing will be live on MLS.